underage smoking reignited by new devices, vapes and e-cigarettes disguised as school supplies. 10 News reporter Anthony Perra is in San Marcos where parents are getting a dose of reality on the dangerous problem. Experts say middle school is about the time kids are exposed to drugs and smoking. And tonight, Woodland Park Middle School hosted a forum focused on e-cigarettes and vaping, something now blowing up in popularity. Families got a crash course about drugs in schools, including e-cigarettes, the newest trend. And we've really seen them being used in classrooms and outside of school. Drug prevention specialist Haley Jafrida says it's never been easier for kids to hide their habit. This is Juul, and as you can see, it looks like a USB or a flash drive, and you would never know. It can even plug into your laptop. And how about this one? This one is Soren, and it just looks like a little iPhone. It's about the size of a credit card that you smoke it through the side. I just thought, oh my gosh, these are actually disguised. You never know where they could be. 13-year-old Elijah Sanchez came to this forum with his mother. If they don't know about it, if they've never seen it, and they're willing to take it because they see no harm in it. Researchers say the vapor has toxic metals like lead, a health risk. They also have nicotine, which can get kids hooked on it early. Nicotine products are supposed to be sold to people 21 and over, but Jafrida says these products are being marketed to kids. Yes, I do think that they thought of kids in classrooms and doing their normal day-to-day -day activities when they think, how can we get the newest generation of addicts started for these products? That's why parents need to learn the new face of nicotine, because it's staring their kids in the faces. Even if you don't think your child is smoking one of these e-cigarettes, have a conversation. Reporting in San Marcos, Anthony Pura, 10 News.